this video is about my brother Dave Warner and uh, this guy can build anything just a few examples here of what he's built he did the brickwork there the steel on the gate built that of course he built his own house he built the shop and he built this little craft shack it's really cool and his latest project he decided to build a car and this is a horseless carriage what is it Dave it's a 1902 Osman replica how much of it did you build the entire thing except for the wheels I had to I, I uh, ordered those wheels out of Pennsylvania they build them for me And everything, everything else I built. How much did the wheels cost? Oh, unbelievable! One hundred sixty-three dollars a piece. <laughs> That's a good deal on wheels. They came with the tires on them and everything, didn't they? Right. Did they come painted and pinstriped? Oh no, no, I did that. You did the pinstriping, and the, did you do the varnishing? Yeah. Did they come with the hubs? Yeah. Come with the hubs. And those are steel hubs. Steel screw-on hubs. And you let them rust and then just uh, varnished over the top of the rust. Right. Clear coated them. Clear coated the rust. That, that really looks good. It looks like bronze. Built my own springs. The, the, the springs that go from axle to axle. Built those out of a 1974 Jeep spring. That you cut, cut up and... Cut them up and re-arched them. The, the, the shape I needed them. Uh -huh. Did you build those steps? I built the steps myself, yeah, so my wife could get in and out. Are those uh, on the original car too? Yeah, the, the original car, they were a little bit different shape, but this in the shape I put on them. So how did you uh, find plans to build this car? On the internet. <laughs> you found plans to build it? No, not plans, no. Just pictures. Uh -huh. And then, and then, uh, so I, you... I found out. I, I live in Washington State, and and I found out that there was a 1902 Halsman in a museum on Whidbey Island. So I took a ferry over to Whidbey Island, and uh, the guy taking care of the museum let me take take some measurements and takes. I took a lot of pictures of the different parts on them, and then that's how I built this. From, from all the measurements and parts. So you didn't uh, buy a set of plans? No. Or a no, kit? No, no plans, this no isn't, kit. This isn't a kit built? No. The original one had leather fenders. That's, that's the only difference on this from being original. I got metal, I built metal, metal fenders for it. Uh -huh. But other than that, it, it's pretty well, pretty well the same. That's the original. You could, you could put this alongside the original. And, it, and you wouldn't hardly be able to tell the difference. What's that tail light from? That's a Model T tail light. That is neat looking. Gas operated. Did you build those uh, pulleys for the drive pulleys? Right. Yeah, I built built these big pulleys. Built all the running gear. That's a lot of parts to to build. Yeah, these pulleys are, are three and a half inch segments going around and welding them all the way around. Uh -huh. So there's a lot of pieces in there. I forget the exact amount now. There's, <laughs> there's a lot of them. Uh, you pop the hood here? Yeah. That's a 13 horsepower Briggs and Strat, not a Briggs and Strat, no, a Harbor Freight. Engine. Harbor Freight engine. Harbor yeah. Freight engine. Electric. Has electric start, and it had a it had a pull start on it. So uh, on the original car, it had a crank on the side of it right here, mm -hmm. and I hooked this crank to the pull pull start, and I could I could actually start it with a with a hand crank or electric start, or you could push start it. <laughs> Is that right? And you made this mechanism here for the uh, 
the shifter and the brake and the throttle combination. Yeah. This is the brake portion of it down here. If you push it just halfway in, this this one, this top one with the gears in it, that's the way you hold the uh, belt tight. You can let go and it'll stay tight. Uh -huh. When you when you pull it all the way in and then release it, then the back one, will, bottom one will work, and that's the brakes. It's also the it's all it's a hand brake, but it's also a mercy brake too. You can park the brake. You can put the parking brake on right there. Now uh, the tiller, it's tiller steering, with it and a mechanical throttle. Of course, this is pretty obvious. The horn. <laughs> Show that uh, pulley engaging when you when you. So that tightens that, the belt. That tightens the belt and makes it and go. I, and I can let go of it because, because this cog goes into the into the gear, the teeth there. That uh -huh. holds it there. Right. And, and I can release it, and then I've got.